everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So today we're going to try Brew Detroit's a winter lager. Spiced lager with cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Um, 5.7% ABV brewed in Detroit, Michigan. $1.99. Very good priced. Yeah, compared to the $4 cider I just <laughs> bought that was horrible. <laughs> Uh, there is a date on the bottom of this. I'll look after I pour this. I'm kind of excited because I'm ready for cinnamon, ginger. I didn't see... Nutmeg. I'm ready for some spice in my life. Because I didn't even get to have pumpkin beer. No, I... Never even had a spicy pumpkin beer. Like a, a good no, fall. I think I, I only had one. I really wanted an Elysian. Two. Elysian? How do I say I that? I don't know if they're still around. I know, I but they had the best pumpkin beer. Uh, Whole Hog has a very good one too. Okay, well, I didn't even get to have a pumpkin beer this year. So I'm ready for some fall Christmas. Uh, 9 So Seasoned beer. Three weeks old. All right, this looks like it could be good, though. Even though I could have had an Oktoberfest with some pretzels, and I didn't nope. even do that. Nope. I've just been a party pooper. <laughs> uh, light brown-colored head. Mmm, that looks like it's got cinnamon <laughs> and nutmeg in it. Orange, clear orange. I don't know if this is going to work because of Jessica. Looks there good. There you go. Looks good. Yeah. Orange, little burnt orange in color. Mm. It has that Oktoberfest, that Marzen. Kind of smell a little cracker, more cracker like than a, maltiness yeah. in there. I like yeast. Bready. I was going to say like a light pretzel. Yeah. Like not fully cooked pretzel. Cinnamon, this reminds me of Rob. Right? Yeah, there you go. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. I know this reminds me of my friend Rob, which I... I don't know. It just does. It may be a little nutmeg in there. I'm not really picking up cinnamon. What was the other one? Ginger? Hopefully we'll taste it. I want to taste cinnamon, nutmeg. I don't want to taste ginger. If I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe a touch of those in the back. But I think that nutmeg is what sticks out the most. Other than that, like crackery, not fully cooked pretzel. Okay? Yeah, I want to drink it. This is okay. I want it to be spicy. A little bit more. I don't really taste. I get a little, I think the back end is nutmeg. It's not yeah. ginger. But it's not cinnamony. Yeah, it's like you get a regular, oh, I guess I can't, I, I want to say a spiced lager, but you're not getting the spice until your palate warms up. And then it's like, yeah, maybe nutmeg. I think the nutmeg sticks out the most in this. Which is weird because, well, maybe they don't measure cinnamon with their heart like we do when you're well, making but that's, something. But. I, I think it's wonderful because a lot of these cinnamon beers are overpowered with cinnamon and that's all you taste. Oh. So do you like this? I don't know if I like this. It, Like, through the taste, it's kind of... I don't want to say malty, light malt, I guess. It kind of doesn't have that lager taste because of, I'm guessing, the spices in it. Right. But you really don't get, like, there's spices there, but you don't get them until the end. Does that make any yeah. sense I don't know whatsoever? if I would want to drink this... I don't know. And if anything, it's those spices come on a little too much in the back. Really? I yeah. don't get enough spice. It's just it's just my opinion. You're Oh jeez. 
Yours is kind of tinny compared to mine. Does that yeah. taste the same or different? I think it tastes gross. Mine or yours? Yours. Yours, t- <laughs> yours tastes gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not even the same color. No. So I got the bottom. I don't know. I wanted it to Should be we mix more. It with I wanted it to be more spice, because I like spice. So uh, meh. I want the meh. spice to come out more. I think I'm getting some ginger now that the more I'm drinking it, like I'm getting ginger. But I want the flavors to come out in the taste, not just the aftertaste. Yeah. I don't know. Not not necessarily a win for me. But that's okay, because not many of them are. I think I would have to go 3.25. It's still drinkable. If somebody gave me this, I would drink it. It's fine. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> You're not going to rate it? Um, none of my friends have checked it in. 45 people have 3.8 out of 5. Spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cookie. Definitely. That's a different... No, never mind. Interesting. Sure know. makes me burp. Um... I yeah. like the can art. Don't care for beer. the beer. Yeah. It's okay. If you're looking for something different, pick one up and see how you like it. I mean, like for the it. price point, you yeah, can't not. And it's not It's not so 7. awful that I couldn't finish it, <clears throat> but I don't like it. Right. And that's why I was saying, if I was out and about and somebody gave me one of these, I would drink it. I wouldn't buy it. Right. But for $1.99... You can't beat that. Yeah. If I saw a review like this, I would still pick it up and try it. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. So if you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Cheers.